On a scale of one to ten, I would do great that time back there. I'd give it a hearty eight and a half. Um, there's, I want to want to be faster. It's worth at least a half a point. That wasn't a perfect race. It's worth at least another half a point. It's only a ten to break the world record. Only a ten to break the world record. If you had won the race, would that have been nine and a half? Well, if I had won the race and done it perfectly and did all the things correctly, I, I would I wouldn't even call that a ten. That would have been a ten and a half. Knowing what the uh, international competition is, looking ahead to the Serie A and everything like that, uh, what's it, what do you think it's going to take for you to get to the Ryan to uh, play You know, the interesting thing about swimming at, at this level is that it becomes less and less about time. I mean, I can't remember the last time my time actually mattered. And all that matters now is what place you put your down to. Right? right? So, that being said, I think. U.S. is, we've got, we've got the ability of being able to get our hands on the ball first, time and time again. It's very, very, really tough in competition, and especially in high pressure situations. Mine obviously is, I'm confident that I can be, and we've proven that in the past, so I'm excited to see what happens. It's really good. With just two 200s to prepare for now before the Olympics, does it change your training over the next four weeks? Oh yeah, it changes my training. I mean, I'm not going to be focusing on a whole lot of raw aerobic training like I normally would be. I've got to focus a little more on some some almost sprint-based training to get my easy speed going and 